A. General definitions. My report is on polygons. A polygon is a simple, closed, multi-sided figure with line segments for sides. Simple means that its sides never cross, like the sides of a square that never cross. Just like snowflakes, there are an infinite number of polygons in the world. And sometimes, you never know when they're going to melt. Can we get the lights? A three-sided polygon is a triangle. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. A five-sided polygon is a pentagon. A six-sided polygon is a hexagon. An eight-sided polygon is an octagon. An n-sided polygon is an n-gon. Like this report giver said, a polygon is a simple, closed, multi-sided figure with line segments for sides. We name a polygon by listing its vertices in order. The vertices are all the corners. For instance, this pentagon could be named P-E-N-T-A, or A-T-N-E-P, or T-A-P-E-N. Now let's go over a few more definitions that go with polygons. A convex region occurs within a polygon when a segment connecting any two inner points never crosses the edges, like this figure here. For any two points, A and B, the segment connecting them is completely inside the figure. A convex polygon never caves in on itself. Here's an example where the region is not convex. See how the shape sort of caves in on itself? That's concave. We can pick two points in the region, say points C and D, and the segment connecting them crosses the edges and goes outside the region, where point X lies. A diagonal is a segment which connects two non-consecutive vertices. In this diagram, BE and BD are diagonals. We couldn't draw a diagonal from B to A because segment BA is already part of the polygon. That's why diagonals must be from non-consecutive vertices. B and A are consecutive vertices. A regular polygon has all sides and angles congruent. We seldom find regular polygons in nature. Most regular polygons are man-made, like this perfectly square man-made dealie found here. Now that we know the shapes and definitions, we can use them and a little more information to figure out the sum of the measures of the angles inside each shape. I hope you're as excited as I am. We know that the measures of the angles in a triangle total 180 degrees. Let's look at this quadrilateral. We can cut it into two triangles. So the sum of the measures of its angles is 180 times 2, which is 360 degrees. Let's try a pentagon. We can divide it into three triangles. So the sum of the measures of its angles is 180 degrees times 3, 540 degrees. How about a hexagon? We can divide it into four triangles. There's a simple pattern developing. The number of triangles a polygon can be divided into is always two less than the number of sides. So, our theorem is, the sum of the measures of the angles in a convex polygon with n sides is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now that we know some general information about polygons, let's get specific. We've got some secret information about quadrilaterals. We're going to give it to you now. Once you watch this part of the tape, eat it.